Hi, this is Cammie, and today I'm here with my daughter Mary, who's watching our dog. She's here to help us with the Science Art Fusion Sculptures Kit. Today she's going to be making the floating sculpture, and she's super excited. She picked it out herself, so we're going to watch her do this for a little bit. Okay, Mary, what's the first step? Fill the bowl in the art tray with water and make this ready. Okay, do you need a little bit more? <laughs> okay, what's next? Shape a piece of clay into, into the boat. The bigger the flatter the boat is, the better it will float. Okay, so we've learned that we really like these science art fusion kits that you get through the Young Scientists Club. We find that they're nice experiments to be able to do when you're bored through the summer. Um, they're a lot of fun. They're a great way to learn at the same time as doing something with your hands. I think these would be great for homeschoolers. Mary and Jesse and my daughter Anne are all very, very fond of these kits. And I love them too. I have fun watching the kids do them and even doing some of them with them. Sorry about that, I almost dropped the phone. Okay, Mary, how's it coming over there? Okay, so she's working that clay. She's gotta get it softened up before she can make the boat. We've worked with bits of clay at our house before, so it looks like she's doing a pretty good job getting it ready. Make sure that you have a little bit of an edge on it and not make it perfectly flat, okay? Yeah. And remember, big is good. It says make sure the sides are high enough so the boat does not flood with water. That's right. Do you think you could get it any flatter? You can get the rolling pin out if you want to. It's okay. If we had a mini one, that would be better. <laughs> well, what about one of the glasses? You can get one of those. They work too. This is amazing. You can try it. <laughs> Good. See how that gets it flatter for you? All right, now try it. Okay, you'll want to get those cracks so that there's no cracks. Good job. You could do that part into a triangle if you wanted. But you don't have to, you can make a barge book too. Good job. Did you smooth out the bottom? Make sure the other side is smoothed out on the bottom too. Just a little bit, okay? You see any cracks? Okay, here she goes. She's going to float it. And there it is. It floats in the water. It's doing a great job. Mary, tell us why it works. Go ahead and pull it out. It's okay. Just pull it out. Yeah, you have a couple of cracks in there. That's okay. You can try again in a minute if you want to. Let it dry out for a minute, okay? Put it back where it can dry a little bit. There you go. Okay. So come over here. Tell us what we learned. Clay floats. That's not what it says. <laughs> go ahead and read what it says. 
Archimedes' principle states that an object immersed in fluid is floated upward by a force equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by that object. In other words, the more water pushed aside by an object, the stronger the force pushing the object up, which makes it float. This is why a flat boat-shaped piece of clay floats and the same amount of clay shaped into a ball sinks. Thank you. And you can see that here, we've gone ahead and folded this up just a little bit to make it easier to read the instructions. But this is the Sculpture Science Art Gallery poster. Let's see if I can get some of it out at least. And what you can do, what you can do is go ahead and take a picture and put it, tape it right here or glue it if you want to, if you're only going to do it once. We like to do our experiments more than once. So you can tape it right there so that you can see how your experiment worked out. So if we want, we can take a picture of Mary's boat or she may choose to keep making another one. Thank you for watching. This is Cammie with OMG Goodies.